Hi everyone, this is Miss Murphy. I'm here to demonstrate um, our next practice sketches um, known as the Zentangle. So as we get into this unit, we're just gonna take some time to practice creating some Zentangle sketches. And I'm gonna demonstrate and kind of talk about the meaning and purpose of creating a Zentangle. So a Zen Tangle is essentially a meditative and calming method of drawing. It is non-representational. It is not necessarily supposed to be planned in terms of what it is going to look like and what types of patterns you're going to use within. So there's a few basic steps with getting the Zen Tangle started. The first step that I like to mention is finding a quiet space, putting on some relaxing, calming music, and, you know, finding time when you're not going to be distracted from anything else. Because this is really supposed to be a mindful experience, meaning that you are fully present and aware in the moment. So, um, the first steps with creating a Zentangle, and this is one of my small sketches. I didn't finish adding my patterns inside here. So I'm just gonna finish adding that in. So as you can see, um, I have a tangle design and I also have patterns within. The Zen part comes from just like the mindful, relaxing, meditative aspect of this. The tangle design part comes from, obviously, we're creating this tangled, freeform, um, unplanned design within, and then seeing where it guides us and takes us in terms of to the patterns that we create. So the first step you wanna do is create four dots as if you're making a square. You can also draw a square around it that's not completely necessary, but if it helps guide you along, you can draw a square around this just to help guide you. But you really only just need four points in the shape of a square. The next step is going to be creating your border, and this can really kind of take on, you know, a couple different shapes. So you just let your mind go, relax, and create your border design can even have a little twist and turn. So I'm going to be using those as guiding points, my four points, as I create my tangled design. The next part is known as stringing. So this is supposed to be relaxing and take your time and don't um, be overwhelmed by what, or what it's going to look like. Um, the intent of this is just to see where it takes you. It's kind of like when you doodle in the corner of a notebook and you know you don't really necessarily know what you're making, but all of a sudden you see something spectacular. So I'm gonna take my Sharpie. And the other thing is I'm using a Sharpie because that I'm not going to think about erasing anything. I'm just gonna go with it. I'm not gonna worry if I make a mistake. That's part of the process. So I'm just going to see. So I created, I went from each corner. You can even go from a few little sections here. Um, and I would say just overall, just divide it up, you know, have at least six to eight sections. You can probably visualize and see that right away. I have, I have a good amount of sections so far. Um, and now is where I just relax and I create the patterns and these are not really planned patterns. I'm just gonna see what I come up with as I go. And just see, and you know, this is really just a relaxing form of drawing. And you know, the meditative part, meaning that you're just making this a really mindful experience and letting go of your you know inhibitions in terms of like um oh this has to look like a perfect design that's really not what it's about 
and the patterns will kind of create themselves as you go. So just letting your instincts guide you in terms of like where and what you decide to create in between in terms of patterns. I'm going, you know, a little bit faster here just because of my demonstration here. And I don't even know where I'm going here, so that's okay though. Sometimes, the other thing I want to say is that you can even, I don't even know what that is, um, you can even go off the edge a little bit if you wanted to, like if you had a pattern, you know, that you wanted to go off, and maybe I want some of my pattern to just come outside a little bit. Just kind of playing with it. And sometimes I get a little more decorative out here too. So you really just want to go with the flow here, quite literally. And once you've created your patterns, you can enhance some of them, some of them and see, you know, what else could I add? For example, I have this kind of checker design Maybe there's something else that I want to add inside of that. And there you go. So I'm going to continue finishing this and, you know, I'm just going to see what else I come up with. I'm going to add a little border around here. Um, both of my Zen tangles are very different from each other. And, you know, the key to this is to not be distracted and really be present in the moment with what you're creating. Um, and, you know, don't worry too much about what it's going to look like in terms of the end result. And like I said, just go with the flow. And you're gonna create three of these. Um, so for your assignment, you are creating three different Zentangle pattern designs. And don't forget, you can always go back in and like I said, just kind of color in some of those sections, you know, so that way it just kind of accentuates and, you know, adds a little flavor there to your Zentangle. All right, good luck with your process and enjoy.